Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got quite a few things to go over regarding the Indigo Disc DLC, some pretty big Terrapagos updates and then also some Nintendo Switch updates to take a look at. A lot of stuff to break down and get into, so if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video. Video, and I really hope that you enjoy. So starting things off, let's go over these new Terrapagos details. So basically a Japanese Pokemon uh, Twitter account has posted this information basically saying that the Indigo Disc is out in 10 days. This was posted yesterday, obviously it's less than 10 days now. And they are now saying that the Pokemon Info uh, Information Bureau will be reporting sightings related to the mysterious Pokemon Terrapagos for 10 days starting today. And then don't miss it. And then obviously when you click the link, it takes you to that website. We've already covered a couple of times in the past. Um, it's this big like Terrapagos website. But now we know they're going to be posting information about Terrapagos every single day on the lead up to um, the Indigo Disc DLC. So this obviously kind of gives a bit of a reason as to maybe we're going to be getting a trailer this week. Um, just simply because on one of the days the trailer will be about Terrapagos. Because we still know so, uh, we still know so little about Terrapagos. We don't know the typing, don't know its abilities. Um, we don't really know how it like terrestrializes into this terraform. We don't really know anything about that. So maybe we get a trailer at some point this week, which is just part of this 10 day of Terrapagos thing. It's kind of like the 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 days of Christmas th uh, thing, but this time it's Terrapagos instead. So yeah, this obviously fills me with confidence that we might get a trailer. And it's going to be revolving around Terrapagos. As well as that, we didn't get a raid announcement um, on the Sunday slash Monday. So that not being a thing that had been revealed, because usually we get a new raid announcement after a raid finishes. So the fact that we didn't get one kind of also leads me to believe that potentially we get a trailer this week. And uh, in that trailer, we do get a raid announcement as well. Because there's only one weekend now, which is this weekend between obviously now and the indigo disc release which is next thursday and i i cannot believe that they wouldn't do a raid in between those that would be like a blissey raid or something like that that would give you xp candy terra shards stuff like that just like they did with the last one um for the teal mask especially because the indigo disc is so much more difficult as well with competitive teams vgc standard kind of elite four battles like we need XP candy, terror shards, stuff like that, all of that to be able to defeat these trainers. So um, th th you'd like to think they'd give us some, basically some easy access into that, which I thought would be in the form of a Blissey raid, but you know, apparently not unless we get something this week. But definitely keep your eye out for these 10 days of Terrapagos. We've already had two things of Terrapagos so far though. Um, so obviously yesterday when this was announced, we got um, this new artwork. So official image of Terrapagos with Paldea starter Pokemon. This is a really, really cool artwork as well from, um, like I say, this this uh, this account that's, been, that's posted it. Got Terrapagos here with the Paldea starters. So this was day 10. So this was yesterday. Today, we obviously got another Terrapagos update because like I say, it's the 10 days of Terrapagos. And this morning it was, uh, so nine days left until we can meet Terrapagos in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. What about Terrapagos? And then they've just kind of uploaded some more artwork and stuff like that. I really hope it's not just artwork every day. That would be really, really kind of just poor, really. Like I say, the, the whole promotional situation for this has been absolutely terrible. We haven't had official gameplay from Pokemon themselves since August, and the DLC is out next week. It is generally mind-blowing how bad the promotion has been. Um, but yeah, I think this definitely is a perfect catalyst for a potential trailer or for some new information. Um, I'd like to think the next trailer would potentially be about like Paradox Ente, Paradox Terrakia and some stuff like that. But because this is Terrapagos week, maybe they, or Terrapagos 10 days, maybe they drop some information about this, um, this Pokemon. We have a little bit more information as well about it on this page here, uh, basically saying that uh, obviously the information on the Terrapago sightings will be available every day until December the 14th, 2023 on the Pokemon Intelligence official account, formerly Twitter, and on the Terrapago's official website. Both the X account and the website are only available in Japanese. Additionally, episodes from the Pokemon anime featuring Terrapagos will be available on the Japanese Pokemon YouTube channel throughout December the 1st to the 15th, 2023. At the time of writing, these videos appear to be hidden. So they're also going to be doing anime stuff on the YouTube channel. As well as that, we're also in the Terrapagos arc in the Pokemon Horizons anime. We have a new episode on Friday, I believe. So maybe something happens in that. Um, but uh, yeah, like I say, they're, they're really kind of 
throwing Tarapagos down our throats right now. And you'd like to think that they would also do that in like a form of a trailer or something like that. I don't know. I mean, we'll have to wait and see. Like I say, this is going to be something that happens every day on the build up to the Indigo disc. Uh, obviously, there's been no trailer announcement today. Um, I didn't think there would be one today because of the GTA 6 trailer, even though that got leaked last night. But obviously, I think that they were probably like, okay, we probably shouldn't announce anything on, you know, <laughs> one of the biggest game announcements of all time. We'll probably do it the day after. So maybe we get an announcement tomorrow for a trailer on Thursday. Maybe we get an announcement on Thursday for a trailer on Friday. Like I say, though, I, I, I think if we don't get a trailer this week, we're just not going to get one because there's literally no point. Like, if we get to... Because they're not going to do one on a Saturday or a Sunday, most likely. They never do. The only time they've ever done that is on, like, Pokemon Day. Um, so, if it gets to, like, next Monday, what is the point of dropping a trailer when the Indigo Disc is literally out in a few days? It literally makes no sense. Um, it'd just be something... It'd just be nice to see something this week, just so it'd get us, like, a little bit more excited for it. I'm expecting to see, like, new commercials and stuff at least to just kind of promote it and to get people to buy it. But, uh, yeah, absolutely zero out of ten for promotion and uh, for the Indigo Disc. Absolutely terrible. We've got so much stuff for the Teal Mask as well. Like, we got the whole Poultry Guys kind of trailer thing. Uh, we got, like, the Diplin thing. we got multiple trailers in like a really short period of time but for the indigo disc which has so much more content according to the data mines they're just not showing us any of it so yeah really really unfortunate with that sense but either way let me know your thoughts on that do you think we're going to be getting anything for these 10 days of terrapagos moving on though we also have some anime stuff so we've got japan's pokemon fan magazine publishing these images from the pokemon horizons anime again going into detail about these kind of pokemon that reside with terrapagos from from the anime we've got cleavor obviously that pokemon is back in the indigo disc we've got Entei being one of the Pokemon as well. Again, maybe linked with Paradox Entei. Maybe we see uh, Paradox Entei in the anime. I highly doubt we'll see it before we see it in the game. Uh, and obviously Shiny Rayquaza. I think Lapras is another one of them as well. So just kind of clearly emphasizing how important these Pokemon are going to be um, and probably going to be in the Indigo Disc as well because obviously all these Pokemon return in the Indigo Disc. So that's that. Uh, moving on, we also have a Nintendo Switch firmware update to go over today. This was posted by Oatmeal Dome. Uh, version 17.0.1 is out. Nintendo says that they fixed a bug in local wireless play. Uh, the following components were also changed, unlisted in patch notes, lightly bug fixes. So controller input, crash reporter, docked and handheld, handheld mode switching. So all that's been sorted out. So quite a big update for uh, the Nintendo Switch today. But uh, yeah, that's basically kind of all of that. And then finishing things off, we also have a little bit more information about um, Nintendo Switch uh, and potentially the Nintendo Switch 2 as well. We have my Nintendo news here saying Microsoft wants the Game Pass on every screen possible, including Nintendo's. So this was posted on my Nintendo news saying Microsoft and Nintendo have a pretty good relationship, which has allowed for games from some Microsoft IPs to be available on the Nintendo Switch and Nintendo Switch Online. Microsoft has also frequently expressed a desire for bringing Nintendo and Xbox fans together. Xbox head Phil Spencer has even mentioned that he considers Nintendo Switch players to be a part of the Xbox family. That said, Microsoft's initiative seems to include Game Pass as well. Xbox CFO Tim Stewart has recently said during a Wells Fargo TMT summit uh, that it's a bit of a change of strategy, not announcing anything broadly here, but our mission is to bring our first party experiences and our subscription services to every screen that can play games. That means smart TVs, that means mobile devices, that means what we could uh, have thought as a competitors in the past like PlayStation and Nintendo. So yeah, potentially in the future we might be seeing like Xbox games on the Nintendo Switch, which is a bit mad to think about. I don't think it'll happen the other way around as well. I don't think we're going to start seeing Pokemon, Zelda, Mario on the Xbox. I highly doubt that's ever going to happen. Um, but uh, yeah, for the other way around, you know, maybe we start seeing some pretty big Xbox games on the Nintendo Switch. Probably not the Nintendo Switch, but maybe the Nintendo Switch 2 in the future, whenever that gets announced or anything like that. But uh, either way, that's basically everything that I wanted to cover for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please do consider hitting that like button now below let's try and hit 500 likes it does really help out again i'm gonna be kind of covering this terrapago stuff uh if we get anything big i'm gonna be taking a look at it every single day at, like i say at the moment in time they've only posted artwork which is pretty cool artwork but we obviously want that that trailer info so yeah if we get any big news or like new gameplay i'm expecting maybe like some gameplay clips as well as we get closer to the indigo disc which is obviously going to be cool to see because we've had such little gameplay of terrapagos in the indigo disc it's absolutely ridiculous uh but yeah hopefully we get something like that and then maybe that builds up to a trailer but uh, we'll have to wait and see what are your thoughts on it though do you think we're going to get something this week for the indigo disc and uh yeah that's everything from me have a fantastic rest of your day thank you again for watching subscribe if you're brand new ring the notification bell and until next time peace